Well, good day, tubes. How's she hanging? Pretty good here. Today is spark plug change. Now, I've got a couple of things I gotta get here. Let me get this guy, not for a few minutes. Um, I got a universal joint here too, uh, some tape on it, black tape. Uh, they say sometimes that helps with uh, threading the new plugs in. So it gives you a little bit of play there and you don't kind of strip them quite as easy. So the black tape is to kind of help it from slopping too much. Kind of dampens it a bit. So we'll need that, we'll need that. Oh, brand new tool, never even used. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. I'll take that and that. And uh, first, oh, we're gonna need, uh, where'd he go? This guy, for now. Get some of these boots out of here. Um, got a little eight mil here on the gun for taking the little bolts out. But first we're going to uh, give things a little blast with some air. Maybe, maybe. Might have to go down and fill this up again. I don't know, it depends how much I blow here, I guess. Oh, come on. Sure would be nice to be able to do this down at my shop. But anyways, <laughs> whatever. So I'm using the GoPro head mount. Wow, that's all knotted up, what the heck? Uh, just because it's a little more of what you're gonna see what I'm seeing instead of off to the side. Like, you know, if you're off to the side, you're only gonna see like here, right? So, okay, so we'll start by just cleaning, cleaning a bit. Maybe have enough air. Not too bad. Okay. First, we need to get these things all off. Now, I might not be able to get in there with my gun, but get the first one off here anyways. The gun's good, but it might not be uh, good for everything here. Don't know if I'm gonna get in there to get that one. How am I gonna get in here now? Gotta step right in here maybe. <laughs> my feet, my feet are too big. I don't think my gun's gonna reach. Oh, maybe it will. These hoses are a bit flobbly, so darn it. I don't know if you guys can see down there too well, but yeah, we're good. I don't know if I'll put it back on with that though, but okay, we'll start taking plugs off. Oh, well that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> that's just, that's just fantastic. That freaking clip just ripped right out. Yeah, they're just supposed to push off like that. Good. So those can just all sit there. Kind of. Oh, it just popped right out. Well, that's good. We'll do one at a time, I guess. Here. Ugh. And uh, I don't know if that little black clip fell right out, or or if it broke. Is it on the ground? Mm, yeah, it is on the ground. It might 
be all right. I might have just pulled on her too hard. Might flip back in there. Silly thing. Yeah, just don't pull them too hard. Okay. Presume we see a spark plug down there. Really curious to see what the gaps are on these now. Just hope nothing strips out on us. Because I would suck. Feels like they're coming out pretty good. How's it looking? Oh, it's not looking terrible. It's a little dirty let me just grab my uh, gapper here and we'll grab a new plug i guess i might as well grab everything <laughs> we're gonna need gapper a bit of this stuff now the uh got me a little little tiny bit concerned how that uh coil pack come off so easy there not really supposed to but it's nice and clean and looking in there so that's good and it's dry so we're gonna get a 30 thou out here that's the wrong way there's a 20 25 28 30 I think everything was gapped at 30 come for the new ones that's the original Ford it's interesting, it's got a bit of crub around the top of the plug there, but uh, let's see here. Oh yeah, they're miles out. <laughs> so that's 30 thou. Let's get out a, a 32. That's pretty big. 35's not right. 38. Still huge, and the 40 is as big as it goes, and it's just touching, so it's 40 thou, I would say. So it's 10 thou bigger than it should be. So interesting, <laughs> very interesting, very interesting. So we'll grab our new guy, and a bit of this nickel stuff here. And I know they say you don't you don't need that stuff. You don't use that stuff. It's got stuff on it already. Yeah, sure it does, but I'm uh, just going to give her a little bit more. Okay. Now should all hold into there. Feeling pretty good. And they all say, oh, you gotta torque them to 500,000 foot pounds. Well, yeah, you probably should. But I'm gonna torque it too tight and then I'll hear a bit more. All the stuff I've read, that's what they say. Tight and a hair bit more, and that's it. Very good. That's not looking bad. We'll get uh, maybe put a little bit of this on it, even though it probably doesn't need it. Just a hair little bit of dielectric in the bottom there. It's maybe a bit too much. Yeah, the coil look is looking good. Sure has changed over the years, man oh man. Boy, they actually don't seem to push on too really well. I guess that's it.
crank her on. Snap her on and lock her shut. Sweet. Yeah, the one video I watched of this, these guys were fighting with these things to get them out. And there, that's why I brought the little pry things. I'm like, oh, well, it must be stuck in good. Apparently not. there a bit. I'd love to give this thing a good wash too, but I'd say that's really not a good thing for it. So hopefully this helps my uh, fuel mileage. Hopefully it starts again. <laughs> Hopefully it helps my fuel mileage. That one's not looking too bad. Uh, I shouldn't have put that away, I guess. Let's see if it goes right to that 40 here again. Yeah, she's on 40. So that's interesting. They have changed their specs from uh, 40-ish to, I think it was 28 to 30, though. Stuff doesn't smell too bad. nice that gives you just a little bit of flex away from stuff do 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 uh, now hopefully I can reach the last one here all right I don't have to kind of climb in there Should have had my bore scope camera going. We could have looked down the part of the plug hole too, see what the piston and stuff was looking like. But uh, I can always pull the plug out again someday. Okay, so snug, and then here a bit more. There's number two. Need a bit of toothpaste. Good. And still does seem a little odd that I'm not, uh, you know, having to reef those off. So uh, hopefully everything's okay there. Uh, I better put that on or she won't start too well. Okay, last but not least on this side. Yeah, I just pulled out too. I'm looking for anything short and out, misfire, and you know, I think that's just a scratch there, but sometimes they'll through, you know. I uh, better put the right stuff in this one. Okay. Now, this might be sort of crappy getting in here doing this one. Um, 
gonna dump, dump out my pockets here, I guess, a bit. I'm gonna put that out too, maybe. Because I'm gonna have to try to get in here again. It's not gonna work. Let me all twist it up. Need a longer extension, maybe. Ah, no, nope, I can't get in there. Well, how am I gonna do that one? Need something to stand on, maybe. It's probably not exactly safe, but <laughs> it's probably gonna roll me out or something. Stab myself. Something sharp. Let's see if I can get that by hand. Heater hoses. Well, that's nice to give them a nice quick disconnect too on them. Same uh, same idea as these other ones. Yeah, something stabbed me there. I'm not leaking like crazy, but I'm getting little, little blobs of blood everywhere. Oh, it's not the nicest spot to get into. See, I need one of those extensions with the little knurled things on it. Or shorter plugs would be nice too. Ow, it's like really hurting. You know, I'm not even bleeding at all. I get this stuff on my hands and it's all feeling too, right? And it's slippery on the extension. Okay, we're out. Not really looking terrible bad, but it's a 40 thou too, so. 40, 40, 40, eh? Very interesting. Trying to get this done too before a rain comes here. It's supposed to be raining a bit today here. So far we've evaded the, the rain, but yeah, you can almost see like the coating that's on these things to start with. But adding a little bit of that's not really a bad idea. Okay, I'm not looking forward to this. I think we got her. It's four miles of thread. <laughs> Pretty long. So we'll have to do that. Um, valve cleaning too hopefully that actually does something do you guys know much about that i don't really know if it's a good idea or not but hopefully it's all right oh i'd like to give this thing a clean too man i'd like to get the pressure washer on that okay
<clears throat> Good. Do believe. There's no plug there, so that's a good thing. Um, I've already gooed that one up. Okay. That's good. Most of the way maybe here and then I'm not fighting fighting with it kind of thing that's good ah oh, no I left my thing there let's make sure that's in tight that's pretty good and plugger if I could see it and locker lock 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 push this little wire thing back where it was um, that we didn't really move it's kind of where it is there okay I guess we're good for that side let's move to this side now this has got the, uh, the intake and everything here but I should be able to stand here and get most of these I think so we'll uh, try to get our foot up in here standing on the frame and we got one hose here that's probably gonna be in the way so we'll pull him off get the plug off here Oh, maybe. Yeah. There. Okay. Now I'm definitely not going to be able to get that one. Uh... Fix that plug work. I don't think I'm going to be able to get uh, both of these, maybe. Oh, this one will. This one should come. Just barely. But this other one in the back, I'm going to have to get a ratchet on it, I do believe. But i got to figure out how. That plug works there because I don't think that's going to come out. Hmm. Too bad either. It's good. No uh, burning or nothing. So we'll get this one done first. Ugh. bad no doubt it's 40 thou though or more <laughs> ay, ay, ay. forty thou or more 
40 thou or more. <laughs> uh, pardon me. Uh, okay, yeah, we'll do these two and then. Uh... Ooh, uh... This is a nice easy one here. Should have done it last, maybe. going in but it's not I'm not ripping anything apart might actually do uh, that valve treatment here on uh, both sides wouldn't probably be a bad idea aren't too tight. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> I think I know where that went. Well doesn't that just suck balls? Holy jeez. That's laying down there on that uh, pan. I'd heard it hit that pan underneath there. Uh, I'm not too sure if I can crawl under there and get it under from under that pan. There's a big pan that goes under the engine. And it's covered in like a carpet stuff. It sounded like it hit that. Well, isn't that stupid? Ugh. I get this uh, stuff on my fingers here. Everything's slippery and I just didn't have a good grip on that and it's new, you know, so it's not good. Okay, how's that one looking? They're all looking about the same, so that's good. That's 40 thou again. At least they're all staying, you know, same that way. Okay, let's get a plug in that hole, I guess, there, and then I'll have to crawl under and see if I can grab that socket. Stupid socket. Easy way to pull yourself up in here. say where I put that coil. Where did I put that coil? <laughs> this 
one's looking pretty good too, all nice and clean. Well, I'm gonna have to see if I've got a smaller eight mil in this kit, I guess. On a little quarter inch because I'm not gonna be able to get under and get that right now. Nine eight. There's no really quarter inch extension on here unless I go. No, it's not gonna work. I think I should be able to reach it with that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it fell in that pan. <laughs> uh, should have done this without my boots. Probably would have worked better. pinched under there. That's not good. But I think we're fine. Put this guy back on too. I wonder why it's not running right. Good. And uh, you're supposed to get this plug out of here. I'm not seeing how it works. There's something, I think, there we go, something underneath there. Yeah, just a little puller, puller thing guy there. I don't know if you guys can see it way under there or not. Kind of tight quarters. You watch this one here, it's gonna be the, the real pig. She's good. Good. <sighs> that one's all looking pretty good too. So that's good. Now, getting this one out might be a fun job too here. Oh, not too bad. And this is our last one. Sweet. We can fire it up after and see if it still runs. Hopefully, uh, you know, she improves a little fuel economy and maybe a bit of that soot. Probably be better after we do the, uh, whatchamacallit of the the valves. That one's looking pretty good too. It's over 40 that one. Interesting. Just had a bit of a panic attack there. Thought, oh crap, is this thing still recording? It was. <laughs> We're good. This is a nickel-based anti-seize. Should be all we need for that. You don't need to do it all the way around because once you thread that in, it's going to spread it anyways. And I probably got more on there than I need. <sighs> I imagine you're looking at nothing but the dash here, so I do apologize if you are, but. I was trying to trying to look at exactly what I was looking at. I'd probably have to be looking up like here, but you still can't see anything because of the 
thing, but you guys know what's going on. I know you guys aren't dumb. You guys are pretty friggin' bright. Bright, bright stars. Good. I am happy. Is my truck happy though? <laughs> that is the next question. That guy in the little bolt retainer bolt thing. Oh, goodness sakes. Holy. Can't believe all these things are plastic now on these. Come on, Ford. <laughs> Lighter, I guess, eh? In, on, and this one. In, on, and locked. This line in and locked. Good, good, good. And over here. Good, good, good. That's supposed to push in there. I think we're good. All right, let's clean up here. Get my foot out. We'll clean up and then uh, give her a fire. See if she's gonna go. And to see if I can get this freaking. Oh, really? I think it's sitting in there. Jeez, maybe it's not. I don't know why they put these stupid things on here because they're gonna get corroded and rusted now. Uh. Is it sitting in there? Oh, it's not. I wonder where it would have gone then. Darn it. Oh, could be under that pan there, maybe. Holy crap, how am I going to get under there? <laughs> it's not sitting in that one. It's got to be up further there. There's another pan there, but I need my, uh, my things just to jump on, drive on, and then... Uh, probably get another feel around for it I think as soon as I move it though it's gonna disappear Darn it. oh no never mind it is right there it fell out it was in that pan <laughs> see it sounded like when it fell right so it just rolled out of a, a hole or something there well that's good thank freaking goodness Ugh. I'm getting too old and fat for this <laughs> We saved it. We saved it. Good little kit. We'll keep that in the truck, I guess, just in case. Yeah, you never know. You might have a hose clamp that has to come apart or something or tighten up a bit. Um, okay, so that was good. Now, I can start this thing with the hood up, but there's a little button here you have to keep depressed. I could almost put a rock on that for now, maybe, and... Uh, <laughs> Got rocks. Put a rock on it and that'll hold it down. I can listen for things and stuff while it's running here. So that should, you know, should hold her, I think. Uh, okay, I need a key. I dumped all my pockets out so when I went into the truck, I didn't lose everything. Um, everything's back. It's going to double check everything. Let's start over here. Plug, 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 screw, screw, screw. Plug, hose, hose, my hose is back. Plug, 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 screw, screw, screw. Okay, we're good. So. Let's see if there's any smoke coming up the back at all. white stuff's okay but it was the blue stuff I was all concerned about really it's really super rich when they first start to you can actually hear it like backfiring almost boop, 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 boop. now it's starting to lean out the fuel settings the trims and stuff so it seems he's all right 
few of those uh, things firing there again, so that's good. Something shoot that thing, that's for sure. Okay, let's put this cover back in. Oh, there goes the glasses again. Put them on my face. Yeah, there's three plugs up here. I'll let it run for a few minutes here. Good old Ford Originals, eh? Now to Auto Light. I guess we just need a test drive, so I watch when I pull the rock off here. That was loud. I forgot it did that too. <laughs> You're stealing me, freaking freaking out. Under here. Oh yeah. So when we got this thing, they they spray it with something, make it look all nice, right? Now it's all goo and stuck to it, so it really needs a good cleaning again. I seen one guy actually use the tire foam stuff. Just sprays it on everything. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think I'd do that, but uh, yeah. So there we go. I guess we're good to go. Well, it did pretty good. Reasonably dirty, but not bad. Really? Oh, really? Are you kidding me? So we'll go for a little test drive, I suppose. Got everything now, we're good. Try her out, you know. Sounds quieter. <laughs> Sounds quieter. I don't think it is. I don't think spark plugs would make it quieter, but we, uh, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Some air movement though. Air movement's nice. We'll just go for a little tour up the road. I doubt right away I'll see any significant you know gain in <clears throat> fuel economy. We're 13.3 now. We'll go for a little tour and you know sometimes it takes a bit. Sometimes you have to reset it. Back to Zero and then uh, start again. Sometimes you'll get better then, but it all depends what kind of fuel you're running in it, too, right? Oh, I better put her to the carpet. Skeeter killed him. He did. No idea where you guys are looking right now so hopefully you're getting not just the steering wheel look but a little something oh going camping sunny brook huh. that's all right so far it doesn't look like on the little gauge thing that it's changed at all we're only going 70 kilometers an hour though. It's actually 60 here. I feel like I'm sitting too close to weird. But we'll probably get screwed at this light. Will we? Will we? Will we? Way up. Darn it. Corn flakes. Oh, goodness snakes. Anyways, <laughs> we shall go up 
well, I don't know. I'm going to have to go for a little bit of a tour, but... Uh, may not record the whole tour, but we'll record maybe to the top of the hill way up, way up the road here. Point four liters per hundred now. It's actually gone up. Put the old plugs back in. Which one was which now? I don't remember. <laughs> I couldn't tell you now. I didn't mark them. Oh well. I don't know if it's going to make much of a difference, really. It might make it run a bit cleaner. A little better spark, a little better, uh, you know, woof ignition, but it's hard to say, you know. Dirty valves, though, won't help anything at all, that's for sure. It's uh, interesting that uh, direct injection is an interesting concept, but it's really not that good for a longevity thing, you know? Because you don't get that fuel washing in past the valve to clean the valve and keep it clean all the time. You get stuff gummed up behind it and carbon and stuff comes through the valve. You know, all the uh, oil blow-by stuff comes through and then gets reburnt up and it all lays in there, right? So that's what this cleaner is supposed to do is sort of loosen all that up, I guess. And then uh, I don't know what, what it does. Like, it, you'd almost think you'd have to, the way they say to treat it, it wouldn't kind of sort of work. Like, you think you would hot soak it so you'd get your engine hot and then run this stuff a whole can through it, let it heat soak for an hour run it a bit maybe and then run another can through it and maybe that would clean it out better I don't know I don't think you'd want to run too much of this crap through your engine but yeah I don't really know if we're going to get much better here and apparently these things don't have a cleanable or um, replaceable fuel filter accessible fuel filter it's right in the tank now apparently they put them right in the tank it's like well now you got to drop your tank and it's probably like attached to the sending unit somewhere that's whoa this isn't good this isn't good freaking stupid thing just blew out somebody hit that i guess holy shnikes <laughs> fix your crap there guys you don't need four guys loading the freaking piece of wood there for god's sake freaking constructions that's uh, whew. good thing that didn't blow into all of a sudden. I would have been all over the friggin' place and probably crashed and you know who knows what, right? Oh, we were gonna stop recording at the top of the hill there. We're down past the hill now, but anyways, we'll we'll keep going here maybe. It's kind of funny, you know. Uh, your uh, fuel economy rating is as rated on a highway speed so an 80 kilometer is the maximum speed on this highway right that's what they rate your fuel economy when you buy your on the sticker at so it's 12.5 liters per hundred kilometers already something like that but the funny thing is if I'm doing a hundred sometimes I seem to get better fuel economy that way if you're going faster it doesn't usually work like that but geez bud where the frig do you think you're gonna get going to Holy! <sighs> Anyways. We'll maybe take you on a nice little tour down here. We'll, uh, we're going to be off the highway, but our fuel economy hasn't come down at all. Uh, so, I don't know. I don't know. Don't know what to say. We're at 96,575k right now. This road's closed. Are you kidding me? Why the frig did they close everything all at once? That makes no sense. No sense at all. Don't know what's closed down here, but we just got to get down to the uh, first first road down here, anyways, and then head south again back home. So it's not too too far. But, anyways. And 
Now you might think, oh, Bill was saying he's getting kind of crappy fuel, fuel, fuel mileage. Check, check your tires. Tires, yeah, the tires are good. <laughs> I've checked them. I actually put a little bit extra in them for uh, hauling stuff, you know. So they've actually got about 40 PSI in them roughly instead of the 32. I think they recommended it at 32 and I've got uh, oh, about 42 maybe in it. So These tires are not bad, but they are a little mushy. So that's probably probably the problem right there is the compound of the tire is really mushy on these things. I even said something to the guy when I bought these because they're supposed to be like an all-season, more aggressive, wintry kind of tire, right? They're not a winter tire, but I said to him, boy, when he was out showing me, you know, after they brought the truck out, I'm like, I felt them. I'm like, wow, these are kind of mushy. Are they going to last very long? He's like, oh, yeah, they'll harden up a bit. I'm like, yeah. Okay, I used to I used to work in tires, you know. <laughs> Not stupid, because uh, the winter tires are awesome. You know, if you get like a solid winter tire, um, they're awesome because they grip the snow and ice real good. But oh, this time of year, it'll just burn that off in no time. <laughs> it's so so gooey. They get nice and hot, and the rubber gets really really hot and gooey, and it'll just peel it right. You'll peel, turn a corner, you'll see like a from where you turn it just burns it right off so yeah I'm like okay I guess <laughs> I was a little hesitant about taking them I'm thinking I yeah, I already got winter tires but you know I was getting these for some towing and uh, you know some maybe some winter too so I didn't have to switch back and forth but and they were they've been fine in the winter these are really good tires in the winter I really enjoyed them uh, BF Goodrich I think they are they are. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, pretty sure. And uh, but they're just mushy, and I, I kind of think that's what's hurting my fuel economy some. So yeah, but uh, I do want to do a couple more things. I'm 900% sure that this truck is now at a warranty, which really freaking sucks. But anyways, I want to put that air intake kit on. That'll help the turbos breathe a little better too, because all the turbo air. And the air for the engine all comes out of that one little square paper filter. So, I mean, that's got to be drawn a pile of air through it. It's not like freaking bang on perfectly clean all the time. It's going to be a freaking nightmare. So, instead of going from a, like a little square flat filter, we're going to go to one of the big round ones where it's going to have all kinds of air to draw in. You know, it's not going to be restrictive at all. Or I, I, I really think that this restrictive now sucking all the air, especially with those turbos. Man, they got to be two friggin' turbos sucking quite a bit of air per minute there. Especially if you got a trailer on you really juicing, that's got to be pulling a pile of air through. I would think so. But, uh, yeah, so I think there's, uh, no, there's no stop here. Now, I was coming down this road one day and there's a stop for the people going um, to the east here, stop sign. She come barreling through and then she's trying to lock up the brakes I'm like stopping, I'm like, um, <laughs> She looks at me like, oh, I'm like, yeah, you see that stop sign? Uh, but anyway, so we didn't crash or nothing, but it's a good thing I slowed down because she would have been right into me. I think that was in my old truck too, it wasn't this one. So yeah, oh, nice farm. Nice farm. So this is actually a, I don't know if you saw the sign there, a dead end road or no exit road, but it does actually go out. They just put that there so. They don't get people going crazy down here. It is kind of a nice little, after we get to the end here, it kind of drops down all through a nice little valley and stuff. It's pretty nice. So. Pretty nice. Still got corn on. Maybe I even let that dry till spring there. Sometimes I leave it on right through winter. Best place ever to let it sit and dry, I guess. The stock holds it up, usually. I'd be a little bit worried about some some animals coming through, but I guess it's still all wrapped up in the, you know, they'd only get maybe a couple of handfuls of cobs out of the whole thing, but deer, I don't know, deer pester with dried up corn like that too much? Probably not. They wouldn't want to probably chew through the husks and stuff, right? So, I don't know. But we're back down to 13.3. We're going a bit slower here, but I really should try just 80 on a trip no more than 80 80 kilometers an hour the maximum what you're supposed to do but if you don't go at least 95 
you will get freaking mowed over by people even like past that construction i'm like i'm doing like 100 almost here and they're still like like going past it's like where's the freaking cops <laughs> you know what enforce your crap if you want people to go 80 get out here and enforce it and all they're getting away with 100 110 going up this highway like come on it's bloody stupid so okay this is where the road ends it's supposed to end here there is actually no winter maintenance piece beyond past this beyond the sign here but we're uh we're good no winter maintenance spring to fall spring to fall maybe it was just no maintenance spring to fall it's actually in pretty good shape though so they've graded it nobody lives right down here so they don't they don't look after it so if there's a house plunked in here oh well now we're gonna have to plow and keep the whole thing nice right so this is a big river here in a big valley so you're not gonna probably live in there i probably would but you know for like a little cottage or something it'd be kind of sweet but there's nothing down here there's just absolutely nothing down here there's a nice little river here that kind of i'll show you where it brews from see very much here but well, it's pretty low right now they must have shut her down a little bit it's hard to see that but anyways nice little river but there's a, a pond system up here that it all kind of brews from this is actually pretty fun in the winter time <clears throat> this is pretty uh crazy in the winter time here our old uh, sierra we got up to <laughs> rear wheel drive remember we got to about here or somewhere and spinning out. I'm like, no! So slide her down the hill, back down. I think it was about four times. We got next time we got to about here, you know, the next time about here. And it's like, I can see the top of the hill. Finally, we made her up. We got enough gravel stirred up, I guess, that we were able to keep the momentum up. Man, I don't miss that truck. Holy jeez. It was actually a pretty good truck. It cost me a lot of money, though. Things started going and going and going and going and going and going, and, going and then the drive line was starting to sound real bad. I'm like, oh, okay, that's that's enough. Let's let's get rid of this thing. I think it has 358 odd thousand k on it when I got it, you know. So that's pretty pretty good. Ran pretty good still though. Still had lots of power, but uh, I guess we're next. Oh, that's Metalhead Mike. That guy is crazy. He came, I guess it was his son, this guy ahead of us here, came and picked up one of our old refrigerators, just fired it in the back of the truck and hooked the strap around all the junk in the back of the truck right down to like the fender well, like, you know, tire fender well. He hooked it right onto the side of the metal. I'm like, okay, are you dropping the truck off too there, bud? But I see they're still driving it, so... I'm like wow that's uh don't let the mto see you doing that it's got to be attached to something solid not just the side body panel of your truck <laughs> it's kind of funny so i just like thanks and i actually had to pay him to get rid of it because they charge you because of the freon and crap in the fridge the funniest thing ever is i know exactly where he well maybe not exactly where but i know where he was probably taking it and they charge you to get rid of it there and all they do is scoop the thing up and throw it in the normal scrap bin. They don't reclaim the fluid or nothing out of it. It just all goes into the same scrap dumpster bin thing. I'm like, really? I could have done that. <laughs> oh, scrap metal. Don't miss doing scrap metal. It's not worth a freaking penny now. We don't even have pennies in Canada. Horrible, so. But, uh, oh, they've got that uh, bill jack. That one that we rented for doing the tree. I know exactly where that came from. Sweet. That thing's awesome. I wish I had like 40 grand to spend just to have one of those. <laughs> the only thing is it's got batteries in it. You'd have to keep them. Yeah, your batteries are friggin' expensive. So anyways, we'll head her home. Here we are heading back south. This is actually 60 here and nobody does 60. I'm doing 60 now. Everybody's at least 80, at least minimum 80. So there's nobody coming up behind me right now, but uh, oh, it's just like, slow the frig down. There used to be police out here all the time. Not anymore. Don't know what they're doing. Maybe they've cut back on the police around this area. Now there's just no officers around. Very rare actually to see one unless they're going from here to like another thing somewhere else. But sitting on the highway watching, 
hardly at all. <laughs> so yeah, not not sort of too good, you know. But uh, anyways, we're nearly home. I have to, of course, shut the recording off before I go through the gate. You all know why. Um, I got some tools to take back to the garage. But uh, nothing happening at the garage. It's exact same way we left it when we left it. And that's sadly it. <laughs> I've had done nothing since, no projects, no building nothing. I was mostly doing it, you know, to make my day a bit easier and for you, for you guys. That kind of stuff, you know, for entertainment and uh, maybe even a teaching purpose for you guys, you know, how to build a mini X bucket. How many of those did we do, right? They all seem to work good. So, I guess I don't really need anything either. I was, I've pretty much built everything I need for everything I need, so everything's been good. But, uh, yeah, no no projects coming up either. The, uh, I guess our last big project was that Mini X trailer, the big one we built, and it's been working freaking awesome. Just love that thing. Should have had that 20 years ago. <laughs> I wasn't here 20 years ago, but 14 years ago I was. So, yeah, I just... Uh, works awesome though oh man hook it up way you go i did well actually i shouldn't say i didn't do any projects i did have that one little project where i built that uh, ball hitch for the mini x trailer so i don't have to switch back and forth to the drop pin all the time so anyways got to shut her off we'll turn her back on when we come back out we're all good put all the tools away i'm gonna keep that toolbox in here though i think the uh that tool kit, that was a freaking good deal for that. 40 bucks. Should have got a few of them. <laughs> but anyways, um, ooh, don't want to hit the disc there. Uh, there was a comment on a video the other day. What's the disc for? Why is that there? Um, that is actually mine. And I did loan it out to a guy, actually one of the vault guys. Lives up north of us here. He bought a new place there. He wanted to scrape up a couple areas. So I'm like, yeah, sure. Use that. What the heck? So he just brought her back, and that's where we put it. I thought, oh, it's a pretty good thing to keep someone from trying to steal a big trailer. Because, you know, good luck <laughs> moving that thing. You need something to lift that up with. So, uh, But there we go. I guess we're, uh, we're good. We'll uh, have to have to uh, look at this trailer here soon I think would be the next project Let's see what's going on with the light one light on this side is kind of messing up but anyways we can figure that out later not a big deal today and I got to get my big trailer out soon we got a little project to do road trip to do with the mayor of Orangeville coming up on this weekend so we might do a little bit of video on that maybe I don't know we'll see he hasn't been doing too much himself lately. it has been just so friggin' busy, he said. So I guess running a town just makes you kind of busy, you know? It makes sense. <laughs> I could see that. But, uh, yeah. So, anyways, washed the slingshot the other day. I forgot to take this thing in. Anyways, that's it for today. Thanks again for watching. A little dirty. Got to go wash up. Had some dinner, and it's homework night. Sweet. But, uh, ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Hmm. Needs a wash. But anyways, thanks again for watching. You guys have a good day. It didn't rain on us, so that's good. There's two layers of clouds there, though. There's this layer and the above layer. It's cooled off, though, finally. It was so friggin' hot out here. <laughs> it was like 40 degrees the last, like, four or five days here. It sucked. But we're good now. It's kind of blown from the north now, so that's bringing the cooler air back. Sweet. Anyways, it's actually manageable out here. You don't need a you know, bathing suit on. <laughs> but anyways, catch you again. Have a good one. We'll talk to you later.